Yeah, so the driver, he just pulled right over, not not considering no other car. So basically, as he pulling over, the car that's behind us is like trying to get out the way. So they drive all the way on the curb and hit like a light pole or something. Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube, it's your boy, Five Man ETV, back again, and back at it with another video. Today, as you see, I'm driving, and before we even get the video started, y'all know what we doing, man. We got a shout out to the Fire Squad. Um, we got it cracking on my collab, and we gonna keep it going, man. So I'm dropping part two, and Uncut Diamond's dropping her part two to the video that I did on her channel, so make sure y'all subscribe. I have a link in the description. Um, yeah, make sure y'all go show some love to her videos, man. She's been going crazy. She's been motivating me. I've been like, listen, man, I'm seeing what you're doing on that side, and I got to start uh, implementing that on my channel as well. I need to be more consistent. That's on me. So I'm going to step it up and do what I need to do. As you see, I'm driving. So I thought about this crazy story time, and I need y'all to bear with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be looking at the road. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't judge me. I got my eyes clearly on the street and looking at everything I need to look at, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I wanna get straight to it. Um, so today, as you see in the title already, I was really involved in a car chase, man, like a legitimate car chase. And I'm gonna break it down as much as I can while I'm driving. I thought about it, I'm in a car mark, thinking about a story time. I'm like, oh, I had a situation in a car and this is like years ago. I was in high school. <laughs> Matter of fact, I want to say, yeah, had to be in high school. I was riding with my home. And this it was probably not not really my fault, my fault, but I was definitely a part of um the the situation, like how it unfolded. That I could definitely um throw myself in that situation. And that was crazy. So um basically to start from the beginning, I want to say it was like three of us in the uh three of us in a car. And um, we was riding. I don't even know where we was going, but we was in my own neighborhood and we was going down the hill. Now, it was Michigan. You know, that's the, the main street that's from my neighborhood. And you go down the hill to the next street. So we was uh, we was going down this hill and I'm in the passenger seat. I'm definitely in the passenger seat. It's funny, but it got crazy. We ended up laughing after the situation, but during it, we, you know, it was it was hectic. So basically, I'm in the passenger seat, my homeboy driving, I got another homie in the back. And I wonder if they remember, I know they remember this, but I don't know if they remember the detail. I remember most of it, you know. But anyway, I was uh, in the passenger seat, we just driving, this is a regular thing. And we, as we going down the hill, I see a familiar face, I'm like, I know who that is. Matter of fact, the, the home, my homeboy that was in the car was another dude in the car, uh, the one that was in the back. The one that was sitting in the back, it was his sister. And it was so ironic, like we never seen his sister like nowhere around this area. So we was like, oh, there go your sister right there. So to, to give you perspective, we on the right side where the sidewalk is. So we're on the right side. If you driving on the right side and you driving down the hill, you see the sidewalk, you see people walking down the hill. It's regular. So basically, I was like, oh, there go your sister, man. Uh, <laughs> you want to uh, say something to her? He was like, yeah. So the driver, he just pulled right over, not, not considering no other car so basically as he pulling over the car that's behind us is like trying to get out the way so they drive all the way on the curb and hit like a light pole or something they ran into a pole right there and all you see is they whole body jump forward and they look at us and we look at them like a movie like we both had the little stare off for a second and we ain't say nothing to a sister we just we just drove off fast i feel like that was the only thing to do maybe i don't know like i don't know what other option uh could have been had at that moment so he really just took off like we just seen their whole body like jerk forward and you know what i mean it's warm outside so they windows down they got a, a clear view so it wasn't even just about that so basically we take off down this street we take down take off down uh 111 going east now the thing about going this way we going towards the police station and it's like avada and then um, you then you see the police station to your right. So we ride down the street like flying, like legit, like maybe whatever you can go to. I might I'll say 70, just theoretically. 
and they on our heels like they, you know what I mean, hitting the gas just like us. We swerving and we beat this one light. We made a left. We going down uh, where the viaduct is because we didn't want to go past the police station. I don't even know if that was on our mind. I feel like we, we just did it off instinct. Just, you know, go past the police station and just was trying to get out the situation. And I ain't even like, honestly, I ain't never told a lot of my friends about this situation. Like my other friends that's not involved in this support. Like we, I ain't never brought this up in so long, but that was a crazy, another crazy story time. Like y'all always know that I bring on my channel. I just had to do it. I'm driving. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta drop this one today, man. Story time Thursday is like, I'm trying to step it up, man. And that was just, that was just a crazy situation where me and my homies, we like been through so many different things. And I don't remember who was all in the car. That's the, that's what I don't remember because this is legit. Like, come on now, this is like maybe oh three oh four. Come on, so it's been a while. So don't knock me about certain details about the uh, the situation. And what made it even worse is that when we when we was turning and like swerving through all of these lanes, like we going through around cops, we driving on the wrong side of the street. They doing the same thing. We didn't see no police. Like no police was. On 111, where the police station is, we like literally blocks away from it. Like, why are y'all not out here? Like, not saying I wanted them to be, but like the irony and just getting out of that situation. They was on our heels. We we was even back in our neighborhood, and I, we, I felt like the car was still like somewhere near us. I couldn't really like say it was, but that was just our mind frame. We was just like, man, is it is this the car right behind us? And it was so many cars from maybe like two weeks that look exactly like our, like the car that we've been trying to dodge. And I'm like, they looked at our face too clean. So if they see us in the store, like on our daily routine, they can do whatever they want to us. I mean, dude hit that pole hard. I thought it wasn't even gonna be drivable. You going down a hill and you swerve up on the curb and you crash that hard into that pole. And nobody like, nobody was like talking. That's what made it even funnier. Like we wasn't even conversating. Like basically during this whole situation, we just in the car like, Silent, like man, what the heck is going on? Like nobody was in that joint, like talking. We shook, you know what I mean? Like nobody can really like have anything going on. Like he was driving perfect. He made all of the right decisions in my eyes, and we couldn't, you know what I mean, necessarily critique anything. So I know that was another thing that I had on my mind for a little moment. Like man, he could have done this. He could have done that. But that that mark was really like driving like a race guy. He one of the best drivers. You know what I mean? This when we was in high school, this man was going crazy with the drive. You know, we done been in plenty of situations, so I'm saying that from experience. And um, he gave, he gave like, he gave us a lot of time, you know what I'm saying? Because him being on that pole, I'm thinking it wasn't driving until you start seeing that, you know what I mean? Somebody like flying and like car was smoking a little bit. It was wild, man. Like I couldn't, I couldn't really explain to y'all as much as, like I said, as far as like who's in the car and all that stuff, but just think about that. Somebody flying down this street, a main street too, right by the police station, man. We shook, my heart is beating like they could've, like most people had guns in our neighborhood. That was my first thing on my mind. Like fire you, uh, that wasn't even an option. And you know what I mean? It was it was an option at times back, like that's when it started slowly going away and everybody was like kinda on this, they need a gun type situation, but. The more I think about uh, different things that I've been through, man, I just keep thinking about how blessed I am. And nobody, like, um, like we don't even bring this stuff up because it was so natural. So all these stories that I'm telling y'all, it was legit, like, like normal. Like, we were just cooling, and we had these type of situations. We'd be like, all right, we're about to go here. And that's what it would be. But, yeah, man, I'm just glad that I could bring out another uh, crazy experience. I want to hear y'all's in the comment section. If y'all got any crazy experiences anything I don't, I don't care what it is the story that you want to share with me i we can exchange stories that's my new thing next year that's what i will be doing i will have story time thursdays even with other people they yeah, say a story a quick little story and i'm gonna say my quick story that's either relatable or whatever or just a story in general you know what i'm saying most likely i'm gonna make it relatable so it can be an easy title to make but i'm gonna be changing stories like you know if anybody got these experiences i'm gonna be uh dropping it on my social media and I, we can link up and just do it like that i just want to have fun and you know, make different content on my channel so y'all can come over here and pull up on me on my story time Thursdays. You know what I mean? I'm switching the vibes up over here. But with that being said, man, I want y'all to keep dropping y'all cash app names in the uh, comment section. I'm really gonna be sending y'all some bread. <clears throat> Whenever y'all get some, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get to these sections of the video. I'm, you know, I'm really with that. So I want everybody to enjoy their day, man. And like, just have fun, man. Just stay blessed. It's the holiday season, it's December. And uh, I'm gonna be, 
like doing a lot of giveaways, like I said. So every video, I want you to keep dropping the Cash App names, man. And I'm trying to make it 200 by the end of the year. It might not happen. It's all good. But, I mean, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, share, subscribe. You know the vibe. It's your boy, 5man ETV, man. Like, uh, one more one more thing that I want to talk about is uh, my sneaker vlog. I've been trying to, I, I mean, I'm going to get the bridge, all right? So if you see this part of the video, I'm going to get the bridge. But I just want to drop my sneaker update. I'll be waiting on that last little, you feel me, little joint to come in so I can bring y'all my entire collection before the end of the year. So I might either wait for the bridge to come out or I might just drop it because I'm really excited to drop, you know, my updated sneaker collection. And I want y'all to check out the other one as well. So with that being said, man, I want to say thank y'all and I appreciate y'all, man. Love to the fire squad. Love to whoever coming across this video. Don't forget to subscribe, man. I want y'all to, you know, keep showing love like y'all been doing, man. And I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace.